street, pretty woman, the kind I like to meet, pretty woman. I don't believe you, you're not the truth. No one could look as good as you. Mercy. Pretty woman, oh, won't you pardon me, pretty woman? I couldn't help but see, pretty woman, that you look lovely as can be. Are you lonely just like me? Pretty woman, stop a while. Pretty woman, talk a while. Pretty woman, give your smile to me. Pretty woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty woman, look my way. Pretty woman, say you'll stay with me. Cause I I'll treat you right Come with me, baby Be mine tonight ah, ah. Pretty woman Hey there, friends. How's it going? David Potts with Song Notes here, and let's look at Pretty Woman, Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison, 1964. Fantastically fun song to play. Let's dive right on into this riff and show you how to do it here. So I'll show you two ways to play it. One is a sort of simpler way. It looks like this. Okay, it's only using my index and my ring finger on my left hand. No crazy stretches going on. But I'll also show you this way. This is how Roy Orbison plays it. I think it sounds a little bit better, but it is trickier to play. It sounds like this. The difference of these two, the only difference, is in the first one I showed you, we're using the open fourth string, but in the second one, we're using our pinky on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So you get a cleaner sound, but it's trickier, it requires more stretching. But let me show you both, and no matter your skill level, you'll be in good shape with this one. So let's look at that easier version first. So the riff, uh, it's gonna start off on the open E string, right? Play it twice. And then you're going to use your left ring on the 4th fret of the low E string, and then 2nd fret of the 5th string, and then we do the open 4th string. Okay, so we'll do the open 6th string twice, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the first 4 sort of different notes we're playing, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, learn those 4 notes first, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, one, two, three, four. When you get comfortable with those, add on this on the fourth string. We're gonna go from fourth fret to second fret to open. Okay? Fourth fret, second fret, open. All on the fourth string. And when you combine those two together, you get this. I'll play it nice and slow. So it's just a cycle, it's a pattern that repeats, right? It's all eighth notes, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... That's what the main riff is going to be. Now, when the song starts, he's actually just going to play these first uh, five notes, right? One, 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 two, three, four, five. Then you let that note hang, right? Oh, one, one, two, three, five. And rhythmically, that first measure, it's gonna have six beats in it, which is kind of weird, but just check it out. One and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. Then after doing that twice, you go to the main riff and you repeat it four times. The main riff has four counts in it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And on those last two notes, you're going to start singing, Pretty woman walking down the street. Okay, now let's look at the uh, other way to play it with the pinky, right? See if you can do this one if you want to try. So, same idea. First couple notes are the same. Open E string twice. Fourth fret on the sixth string. 
second fret on the fifth string, then we go to the pinky, fifth string, fifth fret, and then we go fourth, uh, fourth to second to fifth, fifth string, fifth fret. So fourth to second is on the fourth string, just like before, and then our pinky on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Let me do it slow here. messed up there. I'm going to keep that in because I wanted to show you that the pinky is probably going to be where you're going to have the most trouble, right? But give it time. If you think you can hang with this one, um, give it some time, give it some reps, take it nice and slow, slow things down if you're messing up. Work on those clean notes. And when you get comfortable, you'll be able to dial up the speed and the confidence. And I'll get, be honest, I've been playing this song pretty heavily the last four days, practicing many times throughout the day. I've probably played this riff hundreds of times. In the first couple days, I had to take it really slow. I would mess up if I started thinking about something or tried to sing or whatever. But with time, I grew confident and I could play it faster, more accurate. I could stay clean with my sound, but I also could sing over it. So it will come, it just takes time. So um, no matter which, height, which, which way you play it, Okay, so let's talk about how to play the verse now. So we know the riff. Now let's look at the chords we're gonna need for the verse. If you look at the verse here, we're in the key of A. So we're gonna have our A major chord. You could either play it, you know, I use this triangle shape. You can have your fingers like this. You could do the barred A where you're only playing the middle four strings. And then we're gonna need an F sharp minor, okay? Now this is a chord that doesn't really have any easier ways to play it. You kind of have to do the bar or nothing, unless you're doing finger style. If you're doing finger style, you can do this version, but this isn't really a finger style song, at least if you're channeling Roy Orbison's uh, sort of vibe. So that F sharp minor, it's just like an E minor, but we're just moving these two fingers up two frets and we're barring the second fret, right? I sort of use my middle finger here as a, a additional leverage. I have a separate video teaching the F sharp minor chord if it's new to you, but it's gonna be one we're gonna need throughout this song. So you gotta sort of, gotta have this chord under your belt. We'll also need a D chord, a regular D and a regular E chord. So that's all we need for the verse. This is very common stuff for the key of A. In my song sheet, I do show you these same chords in bar chord format. So your A, your F sharp minor is the same, your D, and then your E, I recommend using the open E because you really want this low E string because that open E is gonna transition into, Okay, that riff. So those are the chords we'll need, and let's look at how to play this uh, verse here. So that, as I have it written in my song sheet, whenever you see one of these chords, it means you're playing four beats of that chord, or one measure, said another way. The only exception to this is the D. See how the D has a parenthesis around it? That second D is only played for two beats. So that's one of those rare exceptions where we're only gonna be on a chord for two beats. So let's check this out. Uh, let me just do a simple strum at first. We'll do a strum on the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can play the entire verse like this. So, one, two, ready, pretty woman, two. Walking down the street, pretty woman. The kind I like to me, pretty woman. I don't believe you, you're not the truth. No one could look as good as you. And we do the riff four times, and then we'll start the second verse, right? Now, a couple things I want to call out. When you see the E with the little star over it in my song sheet, that means you're playing the riff once, this riff. Okay, that's one measure, right? One and two and three and four and... So we'll do that four times one time per each E with the sort of star next to it, okay? And the other thing, again, I wanna call out is that D with the parentheses. You'll notice there when I did that, I am only doing two counts of the D. So if we counted it, it would be uh, pretty woman, the kind I like to meet, pretty one, two, three, four, one, two. I don't believe you, you're not the truth. Okay, let me do it again just with counting, no lyrics. So uh, pretty one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
four again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Okay, then we're gonna repeat that verse and do it again, right? Pretty woman. Oh, won't you pardon me, pretty woman? I couldn't help but see, pretty woman. Three, four, one, two. You look lovely as can be. And are you lonely just like me? Riff. Row. One more time. Then we go to the chorus of this song, okay? So in the chorus, we're actually gonna change key. We're not gonna be in A anymore. We're gonna go to the key of C temporarily, right? And our chords we're gonna need here are our D minor, and our G, and our C, which has sort of the home bass sort of feeling and sound in this chorus, in the A minor, okay? And we repeat that, D minor to G, then we're gonna do C for two measures. Three, four, C, two, three, four, D minor, pretty woman, G, yeah, yeah, to C, pretty woman, A minor, my way, to D minor, pretty woman, G, you'll stay with me. Then back to A, and this is where we change keys back to A. So this part, well, when you're performing it or practicing it or rehearsing it, this part always throws me off because you're sort of changing the sound a little bit, right? So we go from our A to our F sharp minor, because I need you. D minor, I'll treat you E. Then we repeat that four chord sequence. Go back to A, come with me, F sharp minor. D minor, be mine tonight. Ah, ah. Then we're gonna do the final verse. And the final verse effectively is the same structure as the previous two verses but there is one difference where it stays on this E for a long time, right? So it's gonna be pretty woman, don't walk on by, pretty woman, don't make me cry, pretty woman, don't walk away, hey, okay. See how we're staying on E? It's kind of like almost you're just kind of talk singing, right? You could kind of be a bit liberal here with how long you stay on them. Is that the way it must be? Okay, two, three, four, one, two. I guess I'll go on home. It's late, there'll be tomorrow night, but wait. And when you get to that wait part, you're gonna do no chord. Silence your chord. I like to kind of keep a strum going with muted strings here. What do I see? And then you repeat that intro, that teased version of the riff. You do it twice if you're playing along with Roy Orbison, but you could do it many times if you want. And it's a nice way where to really, uh, the tension is sort of building up. And then for the rest of the song, he's just gonna repeat the riff while the, the pretty woman's coming back his way. So I'll sort of do my best here. Is she walking back to me? Yeah. song you're just gonna punch the A twice. Well, that's how I like to do it and sort of silence the strings and that's gonna be it. So I sort of showed you the entire structure of things there. Um, I'll do a, a more full playthrough with full strumming and everything but I want to give you that lay of the land right show you how things work and again it takes a lot of practice to be able to play the riff while you're singing. Um, so let's talk about now how you can do some strumming to really make this stand out. So one pattern you could use is just a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and four, and, right? A real sort of common folk rock country pattern here. If you played it, it would sound like this. Pretty woman, walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind I like to meet, pretty woman, I don't believe you. You're not the truth, no one could look as good as you. Mercy, right? Do the riff just the same, just the same. 
Pretty woman, oh, won't you pardon me, pretty woman. You get the idea there. So use that for the entire song. And another way you could do it, though, is a bit more of a quarter, like a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So that pattern has a bit more of a quarter note drive, right? Because the drum in this song is do, 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 right? You're sort of matching that drum vibe. It's real driving, just like kind of a march almost, right? One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. Pretty woman, walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind I like to meet, pretty woman. I don't believe you, you're not the truth. No one could look as good as you. Okay, now a little bit of an extra credit is if you want to take that pattern, you could do a sort of bass note on the one count, or the bass two or three strings, right? You don't always have to strum all the strings. That's one piece of advice I would like to sort of implore upon you. So it's bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down. Okay, um, for extra credit though, what you could do is sort of accent the two count and then the and count that's just between the three and the four. This is where, if you listen to Roy Orbison's piano version, or I'm sorry, you listen to his album version of this song, the piano is doing like a chop of each chord on the two count. So one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. What we can do is sort of bring that into our strum. And what we're going to do is sort of accent. We're going to emphasize those strums, which means we kind of want to dial back on all the other strums. And this is very tricky to do, but it kind of would sound like this, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Let me sing it for you, right? A pretty woman walking down the street Pretty woman, the kind I like to meet. Pretty woman, I don't believe you. You're not the truth. No one could look as good as you. Mercy. So that's a little bit of a suggestion there. I'll use that um, in my full playthrough. You'll hear me use that during the verse. During the chorus, though, I like to go to that other pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And if you listen to Roy Orbison's album version, you're actually going to hear him, the drums change in the, in the chorus. The chorus is, you know, a bum, da, 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 bum, da, 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 bum, da, da, da. That's sort of the drum sound. Whereas in the verse, it's more of a driving, quarter note drum beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I say this because that's why I like to say in the chorus, I'll do the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, right? So um, in my playthrough, you'll hear me put those together. During the verse, I'll do the down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. But then during the chorus, I'll change it up. That just sort of makes the difference between the two stand out a bit more, and it sort of adds to that propulsion when you return to the final verse. Okay, so that's how we're going to play this song. Check out the playthrough I did it if you want to hear how it sounds and I play it all together. And then you can check out on my website, playsongnotes.com. I have some other videos for this song. One is a slow playthrough of the entire song using simple strumming. If you want to sort of get a slow, sort of real walkthrough, I have that for you there as well. I also have that other video where I show you four different ways to play that intro riff, and I have a backing track available. If you want to sort of use this to practice that main riff, it's tremendously helpful because it sounds just like Roy Orbison's album version. And for me, I find that super uh, sort of helpful when you're sort of, you know, it sounds like you're sort of in the world of his song. So anyway, all that's there for you at my website, but I hope you found this helpful and hopefully this is enough to get you started. I do have a song sheet available as well. It's three pages made with absolute love and care. It sort of consolidates everything I just showed you into a three page uh, printout you can get. And the first page has all the lyrics neatly formatted on a single page. Page. So you can sort of put this in your notebook of songs or your shared cloud drive of whatever and sort of take it with you wherever you are. So hope this is helpful for you all and I'll see you in the next one. Check out my website, playsongnotes.com for 
for many more lessons. And um, until the next one, my friends, bye-bye.